Fremantle is set to become home to a radical new style of school never before seen in WA. There are no classrooms, no timetables and no bells, with students free to learn on their own terms. It's school, but not as we know it. No classrooms. Forget the bell. These students will decide their own timetable. It very much resembles what it would look like to go into a regular office environment. So it's mimicking the real world for students while they're in senior secondary. Fremantle's new private studio school will open next year for those in year 10, 11 and 12. Up to 120 WA students who've opted out of the mainstream system will instead learn through hands-on projects relevant to their career pathway. From fashion to music, they'll work sometimes off-site with local businesses on assignments that interest them while completing high school. We're working on a sustainability project in the middle of Fremantle and working on a recy you know, recycling or something like that and as part of that, they incorporate their, their English and their, their mathematics and their science into that project. The timetable and that stuff, so then I ha could like organise what I wanted, like if I wanted to come in a bit later or if I wanted to like do certain things instead of just having to stay at school the whole day. Janet Whitfield has been homeschooling her son for the last year after taking him out of a public high school. She's relieved there's now an alternative for kids who were struggling with the mainstream curriculum format. I then had to open a whole range of doors and explore different models of education to find something that I thought would suit him. And we crossed off a lot of options. Um, but I think it's really exciting that the studio school is offering an alternative way of learning. Run by All Saints College, this alternative learning model is untested here in Australia. But overseas in the US and UK, it's achieving good grades and proving more popular. Here in WA, students will still have to meet the state curriculum requirements to graduate from Year 12. It will be set up here in Fremantle, but plans are still being finalised. So an exact location is yet to be secured. From our family's experience, uh, I think if you put the well-being of a student at the heart of their learning, then they're going to thrive. If their well-being doesn't exist, they're not going to engage in their learning. Lucy McLeod, Nine News.